Right guys, so welcome to uh, part two of the Commodore 64 um, and the disk drive and the discs that I got for like 30 euros um, delivered from Switzerland. Um, I haven't um, done the uh, fixed the keyboard yet on the uh, on the bread bin that I got. Um, that's going to be in the final part. Um, so at the minute I've just got me uh, normal go to uh, Commodore 64C. Um, which is just what I use for everyday gaming, uh, things like that. Um, as you saw in the little uh, little intro there, I'm getting everything set up um, the way I want it. So uh, yeah, we're gonna uh, plug plug the drive in, see if it works, and um, and s see what happens there. So here we go. Uh, this is the first time that I've used it. Um, I'm not expecting it to work. Um, obviously, it's been international uh, post. From Switzerland to the Scottish Highlands, up in Inverness, so I'm not expecting it uh, to have had a, a, a stable journey, should we say? Um, these things, if you knock them a little bit, then that that's normally them. Uh, they're normally like out of sync or whatever. So then we've got to start messing around with it, um, which is which is what we want in a way, kind of. Like normally, <laughs> I want them to work, um, but this time uh, we don't. Obviously, last time with the Commodore 64. Bread bin, I was expecting it never to work. Um, and then, yeah, when it did, it was kind of, well, I was definitely shocked to say the least. But anyway, right, here we go. So, I'll just turn this on. Everything's all plugged in, should be. So, red lights came on uh, and then went off. Green lights on solid, that's for your power. Um, normally if this is flashing um, or on solid uh, you, there could be a problem with it but up to now that seems good so let's see what we can see that's good but, uh, something there, so. <coughs> there was um, a disc protector inside um, which is for when these things are in transit now, <laughs> put it down somewhere. There it is. There. Just show you guys this. So, yep. Yeah. Got a part number on there. The head vibration protector. So, you know what? There is actually a chance this might work. <coughs> but uh, right, okay. So let's get all these. Um, all these discs came with it. Right, uh, packed disc box. Um, everything is in French, so I'm not really sure about anything that's going on there. So let's just take this one. And this is, oh, I have no idea what that is. Something Ju. Don't know what that is. But anyway, it's all in French. <laughs> so we'll slap that in. Um, let's see what she does. So she's loading. Well, see us loading on the screen. Um, solid red, which is uh, I think it's reading the information. It's normally if the if the red light here starts flashing on and off, that's always a. A bad sign normally but I can hear inside she's spinning there's definitely something going on in there just uh, move that this part here is for the um, they get extremely hot the PSU's built in to the 1541 um, and it can get really warm in there um, the the newer style 1541 too that um, that's got an external PSU so there's a, it's a Quite a bit smaller and um, you're doing away with a lot of the heat that causes uh, this disk drive problems but um, she sounds like she's doing something so already this is better than what i imagined it would have been um i don't know if you can see underneath my monitor there but i do actually i, I have the two 1541s there just as a stand they're both knackered um I really must get round to, to repairing them at some point, but um, I just think they look cool as uh, stands, really, to put my monitor on. So, okay, I 
it says it's ready so if i type a uh, list it should show me everything that's on there okay 1984 system 2112 uts i have not got a clue what that is so let's just run it and find out so it turns out that that is the french for flip and flop by Jim Mangamo. First Star Software. Never heard of this game. And I played a lot of Commodore 64 games. This isn't one of them. Genuinely surprised. I'm just amazed it's a game, <laughs> actually. Um, right, hold on. Let's get the old joystick in there. Eh? <coughs> Hope everyone's keeping all right. Just got me new face mask today. Not allowed in shops anymore in Scotland without a face mask. So uh, what's that? Is that one for joystick? Uh oh. Oh yeah, here we go. Not much going on here. <laughs> Is that me? Is that? Is this an intro or something? <laughs> Has anyone played this game before? Flip and flop. I've never heard of it. Now it seems to be working on the keys. Oh hello. Right. So we're in. <coughs> I think that was F1. Right. Okay. We might have to be in port one. The good old fashioned port one, port two, swapping over. There we go. So one port one. Oh, don't think that's where we're meant to go. Looks like we're a um, kangaroo of some description. So, I haven't really got, oh. Jesus, I'm remarkably bad at this game. No surprise there though, no surprise there. So, all oh right, so if I do it that way then, how do we get over there? Oh. oh wait a minute. I think I must just have to stand on all these. Surely that's it. Don't know why that one's flashing. There we go. First level done. <laughs> Lost two lives on the first level. Never a good sign. But I suppose when you've... Oh my word. What happened there? <laughs> right. Oh my god. No idea what I'm doing wrong here, guys. Right, I'm totally getting sucked into that game. Um, but the good news is... It seems like the um, like the disk drive works, which I am absolutely amazed by. Um, right, let's try this. It's just a lot of letters and numbers on there. No idea what any of that is. This is remarkable for it to work. I just. Um, Let's just see what's on the directory. Yeah, really amazed that that works. So this might actually turn out to be a short video. Always say I'm gonna do a short video. Never turns into one. Right, let's see what's on this one, eh? Oh, wow. What is all of that? Wow, that is some amount. I, I just don't even know what that is. There's porks, there's prints, there's just all sorts of shenanigans going on up there. <laughs> I, I just don't even know what that is. Yeah, right, okay, let's try something else. Let's try another one. But again, the drive's working. It's definitely loading... Um, 
it's definitely loading the stuff off the off the disc. Um, I wonder if Zhu means games or something like that. <coughs> Let's have a look. Uh, I haven't. Oh dear me! What have I done there? What have I done there? <laughs> what is going on here? Where's my star? Oh, there we go. Just pressing the wrong button. Loading. Oh, dear me. Well, that one doesn't seem to work very well. Let's just try one more time. So it looks like there's a game on there as well, or something anyway, whatever system 2046 is. Don't really know what the crack is over in Switzerland these days with uh, retro gaming. I've no idea when these games were last used or anything. Uh, this thing took about 12 weeks to get here. So to find it in working condition, the, the, the bread bin and the disk drive is pretty superb. Um, so yeah, I'll be cleaning them up, fixing the... Um, fixing the keyboard and once all that's done um yeah we'll be listening it see if anyone's after a, a 64 with a disk drive with a working disk drive but uh, let's just see what's on here first thing is about these uh, i haven't got a fast load cartridge and uh, i haven't got jiffy dos or anything like that um that totally speeds up the the loading process Commodore 64 disk drive is painfully slow, although obviously it's a lot better than um, than using the old data the data set. That sounded like a bit of knocking or something there coming from the drive, so maybe a few issues there. Could be the disk. I mean, it's um, it's loaded the first two up. Well, it's loaded one game up and it's um, loaded the directory of another. So um, I'm thinking. Oh, there we go. Wow. So. I have got literally no idea what Master 64 is. Micro application ready. <laughs> I just don't even. So it basically looks like basic still. Yeah, it just looks like basic. Okay, guys, but I think I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that working. Um, I'll probably maybe way through a few more of these discs. Um, this one looks interesting. The Vic 1541 test demo. Shall we? I go on. Then. We'll give it a we'll give it a quick blast. Well, oh, that doesn't uh, that disc doesn't come over there very easily. Normally, just fly out of there. That's a shame that that doesn't. Oh well, already I would say that this has been copied over. Little uh, indentation, little cut out on the side of the disc. Um, normally indicates that um, these discs were sold as single sided but um, it turned out that if you did turn them over they are actually double sided um, so with a little tool you can just like make a notch spin the disc over and away you go which looks like what's happened there press play on tape what have I done wrong here Well, maybe we have got a problem after all. Of course, that doesn't normally do that. Give it one more shot. There we go, it's working this time. It's a very pretty screen. Lots of uh, just random letters and numbers have appeared on there. Yeah, I'm not sure what all that's about. So, yeah, I'm going to try loading a few more discs in there, but it's working a lot better than what I thought was going to. Um, yeah, so I think that's uh, I think that'll be our next step. That and um, the next part will be to repair the, the bread bin. So, guys, <clears throat> that was a bit more uh, straightforward than what I was planning for. Um, the disk drive seems like it's in pretty good working order. 
pardon me. Um, I'll still uh, just going to try it with a with a couple of games um, that I've got. Pardon me, <laughs> that I know that work. Um, I'll give that a shot. Um, but other than that, uh, it seems to be working okay. So we'll probably give it a clean. Um, see what we can do with it. There's a, a bit of damage to the back. Um, so I'll stick in a, a picture of that so you can have a quick look at it. Uh, we'll get that sorted. And then um, we'll move on to the bread bin. We'll get the um, the keyboard sorted. Um, I think we're really going to struggle with the case to get that repaired. But uh, once that's done, we'll put it all together. Um, we'll we'll get it uh, we'll get it on. We'll have a video of it. We'll play a couple of Commodore 64 games. If you've got any ideas what games you would uh, like us to put on, just let us know in the comments. Um, but until then, thanks for watching, and good night from Retrobit.